What's up YouTube, it's Robo13, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get the iOS 5 um, on your iDevice, your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and your iPad 1 and iPad 2 um, for free without a developer account. So if you don't have a developer account, you can still get the iOS 5 on your device and have it working. This is just the beta, uh, so this is just beta 1, and I, I honestly recommend not doing this just because it's so it's, it's just the beta right now and it's not not all the features are working very well. If you do decide to do it without the developer account, uh, just make sure that you know what you're doing and remember that it, this is your decision and I'm just showing you guys how to do it. If it messes up your iDevice, then it's not my fault. You guys probably just didn't listen well enough or you know, it just, it, something didn't happen. If all else fails though, you can always just re uh, reinstall it to your or reinstall the old 4.3.3 firmware to your iDevice and just go back from there. I'll have the links in the description on how to download the iOS 5 for your specific device. So first of all when you download the file you're gonna get it in this type of file it's called a torrent file. Um, a great extractor for it is called BitTorrent. I'll post the link in the description just go ahead and download that and then it'll be you'll be set for there. Um, once you download it, you'll get a file just like this. So you're going to double click on that. It'll, this window will pop up. You don't have to click anything, just click OK. Um, after you click OK, it'll start downloading just like this. It'll say iPod 4 or whatever your uh, type of device is, and then uh, 5.0, you know, that's the, the uh, iOS 5. It'll say downloading, let that download all the way. Um, I'm going to stop it because I already have it downloaded. We're going to let it download all the way, and then when it's downloaded, you'll get it into this type of file, which you probably all are familiar with. That is the IPSW file for the uh, iOS 5. Once you download it, you'll the IPSW file, and then you can go into iTunes, plug your uh, iDevice in. I have my iPod Touch in right now. You're going to come up to this Restore button. All right, you're going to hold and Shift right here. Then you're going to left-click on the Restore button. So I'll show you that. Hold and shift, left click on the restore button. This file will pop up. And then you go to wherever you uh, saved the IPSW file for the iOS 5. I saved it on my desktop because it's easiest to find. Just scroll down and you have it right there. iOS 5, double click on that. It'll say iTunes will erase and restore the iPod to iOS 5.0 and we'll verify the restore with Apple. Click restore. And now let it do its thing, and then once it's completely done restoring, you can then continue following my video, alright? And then have it restore to the iOS 5, and once you get it all restored and everything's working, uh, this should show up. If you have the iPod, it'll show up like this. If you have the iPhone, it'll say iPhone, and iPad will say iPad. And then it'll say slide to setup. No matter what you do, do not slide that little bar, okay? Unless you are a developer and you can get this for uh, through that then that's fine, but if you are doing this without a developer account do not slide that bar It will mess everything up. Okay, so after you get to this step And you have this on your device You're gonna want to come down to the home button right here triple click it So click it three times and it'll bring up the voice uh, the voice over stuff so you can hear it when I do it ready Voice over on okay, it says voice over on so now once it's on, you can see that it says it up there and it has the box around the iPad. You're going to want to come up and click the time. 12 a.m. All right. Status bar item. Swipe now it's down clicked. three fingers to reveal the notification center. And just said... Double tap to scroll to top. It's pretty annoying, but you're going to have to use it. Um, and then it said scroll down with three fingers to get to the notification system. So triple click the home button, then click the time, then take three fingers and swipe down. Okay. Notification center, NASDAQ, 2,643 points. Okay, after you swipe down, it'll probably start talking and crap. It's really annoying, but uh, once you swipe down, you'll get the notification system. This is the new notification system in iOS 5. It's really cool, actually. Um, but you're going to want to swipe down. It'll probably be talking, but then you can come down here and triple click it again to turn off the voice messages. So just watch, triple click, and it turns off the that bar is not around the thing, so it turns off voice messaging, you don't need it anymore. And now after you get to this part, come over to the weather app, the weather uh, widget thing that you'll have right there, and click on the the Yahoo symbol, okay? Click on it, it'll then bring you to the actual weather app. Once you get there, 
you can then click the home screen or the home button and it'll bring you right to the home screen and there you go. And I have it working on your iPod Touch, your iPhone, your iPad. Otherwise, if you did the, uh, if you slide it to set it up, you'll go through the whole setup process, and then at the very end, it'll be, able, it'll say that you can't install it because you're not a developer. So this is a way to bypass that and get around it. Um, it has the reminders, the newsstand, the iMessage. Uh, you know, it just has all that stuff. The thing, it's just there. It's the beta, so it doesn't work. 100% that great. Uh, the only way to get to the notification system is to triple click the home button. Voice over on. Click on the time. 12:02 a.m. And then Status scroll down with three fingers. Set. Nasdaq. And you can Voice turn it off by on. triple clicking that again. But that's the only way to get to the notification system. It's really pretty annoying because you can't just take three fingers and scroll down. It just doesn't work. This is just the iPod Touch fourth generation, so I don't know if it'll work in the iPhone or not. But for the iPod, it doesn't work. Um, iMessages doesn't work. If you click on it and try to set it up, it doesn't uh, sync up. It doesn't let you do anything. I mean, if you if you just want to get it on your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad just to see it and use it for a little while, um, go ahead. But not all the features work. One of the features works with the, uh, the camera app. If you can pinch to zoom, so that's one of the new ones. Uh, you can click and hold to set the autofocus. It'll lock it. See it right down there lock um, you can click the flip this over you can click the up on the volume switch to take a picture now see does it take a picture so there are some features that work but other ones just don't because it's the beta also if you if you do this without the developer account like uh, like I just showed you how to if the when the new betas come out like beta 2 and beta 3 uh, you won't you won't be able to update it as easily um, as just plugging it in and updating it through the developer thing because you don't have a developer account. So I'll probably post another video on how to get the beta 2 and beta 3 and all that stuff when they come out. Um, so remember this is just at your own risk. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and do it. It's pretty cool. I've been messing with it for a little while. Um, some of the features just don't work and that's just how it is. Uh, I'll, I'm just waiting for the beta 2 to come out and beta 3 and you know just so forth. Um, iOS 5 fully comes out in the fall. So if you're doing it now just to like test it out and see what the new features are and stuff like that, you can. And then if you want to go back to 4.3.3, just download the 4.3.3 firmware and uh, and downgrade from there. Just shift click and click on that 4.3.3 firmware and restore it back to that. And then you can re jailbreak and all that stuff. Um, so this is just an easy way on how to get bypass the developer account and get your own iOS 5 without the developer. And... Uh, just the beta one and see so you can see all the new features with it and stuff all right also another thing anytime you turn your device off or the battery dies um on any of your devices you will have to go through the whole process again uh it will bring you up to that setup screen do not scroll over uh it'll bring it to that setup screen you just gotta triple click the home button click the time scroll down with three fingers Click the Yahoo symbol and then click home and you'll get you'll get back to the home screen and then you can use it again. So if you ever have issues with it or the iPod turns off, it's just like a tethered jailbreak pretty much. You just have to go through another step to turn it back on. So if you ever have trouble with it, try just watching the video again or just remember those steps and you can get it back on and working. So if you guys have any questions, just post a comment below and let me know. I'll try to get back to you and help you guys out. If you want me to post another video on how to and and specifically show you how to do it, I will. Uh, just go back and watch this again if you don't get it. it it's pretty simple. Um, just I hope you guys figure it out and post a comment below if you have any questions. All right. Remember to like this video so people can see it. Subscribe to me for new videos and send me a friend request. All right. Thanks, guys.